Okay, so we have our first Julie Rexon. You know, I tell you, girl, um, just to share with the audience, that name, we went to school together years ago. And then, then you know, think life happened. And all of a sudden, that name came up again. It's like, and you were on my mind before we ended up connecting again. And it was just, just one of those things. Just it's when you remember beautiful people. Okay. Yeah, you, you got it. Now, what can you ask? You can I can do a cold read, which is I look at the energy field of your emotions and everything else. Or you can just come, you know, saying, I, I don't I'm stuck or I I don't know. You want an answer about something. Yeah, but again, try not to do too future readings because you have too many variables. But I will tell you what would stop you from having what you want. Oh, hello, my loves. All right. Ah, she says she misses me. Yes. Yeah, I miss all of my, I, I miss all of everybody. And, 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 but I know that in my heart, I send out love to everybody. And when people, especially when names will pop up and I'm like, oh, wow, I haven't thought of them in a long time. And then I just keep sending these love vibes of saying, you know, I support you and, you know, your endeavors, whatever it is, grow, 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 because we need to awaken so much more. Okay, so I uh, my timer. You get seven minutes, and guess what? I got to reset it. Now, we can do a healing, but <clears throat> first starting out, you're going to get to know me, and I'm going to get to know you again energetically. What pendulum should I use today? Mm. Ah, mm. Eh, still green. <laughs> okay comes to you on she says tell me about what comes to you on the professional life and my weaknesses ah hmm. okay so what, what you know now all of a sudden energetically there is this infinite energy that flows back and forth she has connected and agreed and so there's a permissions and as that permission goes we will go further ah <sighs> A lot of self-consciousness, the right and wrong. It's the communication. It's the contemplation about what's the right thing to do, what's the wrong thing to do. And, you know, it, it, I keep hearing it over and over. Um, the, the, con, the, 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 hold on. I, I hear somebody coming in from the spirit side. Just give me a second. The conscious contact, that is you're consciously, coming in contact with yourself. Do you do, oh, I get to, that's not the right thing to do. This is the right thing to do. This is the right thing to do. Even though you know maybe over here it's the right thing to do, but in this wave of energy, it is the right thing to do. So there is, you become very self-conscious. People are watching what you're going to do. People are going, you know, you become very self-conscious. Now, both of those patterns can um, be broken and resolved so that you can become more aligned with the healthy aspect because there's two extremes and sometimes we live in those two extremes and it's about finding the integration so that when you stand on the teeter-totter instead of in the middle where it can be balanced you can actually do the splits and it's not gonna you know you're gonna have a slight waiver but you don't have to go to the extremes so I'm hoping you can get that and they said because of that then you have a lot of things that keep coming up that says, well, that's just unfair. So you have to question and, and that feeling. And now when you think of the feeling of unfair, it really can hurt. She says, keep making the same, same mistakes over and over again. Um, do we ever change enough? Can we? Yes. You, how do you do that? You have to stop being just human. You tap into you. And it's finding that authentic part of yourself. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to turn it on. So at the time, I forgot to turn it on. So lucky you. Okay. Unfair. This emotion really runs deep. Um, it has a more of a root than you have with the right and wrong and the 
self-conscious, those two can be healed out, but they play a big part in your unfair. So when I look and I say, okay, so let's hone in a little bit more about this. And they said, you've learned how to cope, handle, deal, and pacify certain emotions and things by becoming indifferent. Look these words up. They're very important that you define these words. And you'll feel when you define them, oh, that way word sticks out just a little bit more. And as that word sticks out a little bit more, it is a twang. It is a feeling that that's how you connect with that particular definition of that word. So when you're looking at... Uh, worry comes up. That's not what I wanted to say. So it's when it's about being unfair and when you go into how you cope, handle, and deal and pacify is you become indifferent. It helps calm down the worry, but all it's doing is putting it in the background so that you don't hear it. Now I'm curious, do you have any do you have any physical symptoms? Um Right now, I feel like there's pressure, so there could be a little wax buildup, maybe a little ear ringing every now and then. Anyways, yeah, there's something about, okay, so you might be an auditory person. You know, there's visual, auditory, kinesthetic is feeling, and, and um, digital, which is all about words. So you don't have a, a, a feeling nature, but you, you have an auditory, which means you can hear people between the lines of what they're saying. Interesting enough is when you're stressed and you go from, this is beta, this is our conscious, we're talking, but when you get really stressed, you're high beta. High beta makes you more paranoid, makes you more upset, makes you more feel like you're in survival mode, and you're, you know, you're just going to kind of say, oh my God, oh my God, and it's, it becomes a constant stress. When that happens, you, your auditory then has another filter. Instead of being healthy and original listening, all of a sudden it's you're listening to specific cues. Oh, did you believe they just said that? Somebody else will be going, I, I didn't hear it. Because they weren't meant to hear it. You were supposed to hear it. Why? Because your soul is saying, can you heal this now? Because this was way back. And I can look back. So as far as this particular... The indifference came when you started being seven. You had to learn not to be concerned about certain things. Life became unfair when age three, when you have a particular uh, particular way of living. So, did you have an ordinary childhood, or was there was there siblings or something that got more attention? How do I want to say that? That's not what I want to say. There's somebody here, and they're not making themselves known yet. They're standing in the back, and I feel like it could be a male. Um, uh, I can't remember what I asked for her to say, not at all. Um, now, the way, the way, there's something, I can't hear it. The way, there's something in that household. When you're growing up, I don't quite hear it. Oh, wait, she just said, okay, lots of verbal and physical abuse of uh, myself and three older brothers. Okay, um, does that have something to do with it? Yes, tell me more. Uh, there was a lot of panic. A lot of panic. So you were waiting for the shoe to drop? What does that mean? Um, she knows. Okay. They say you know. Oh, it was all anger. Okay. Oh, there you go. There you go. So you had to learn to be indifferent so that you didn't have to feel that anger, but you also didn't have to feel that panic. Was that panic here? No, you, oh, you picked up, oh, you, did your mother have a lot of panic? You picked up, um, you zeroed in on your mother. All of a sudden, I just wanted to get nauseous. I wish this person would come forward. And, and since they're not, I'm just going to ask them, can you draw our card? Yes. Real quick. All right. So this person, I, I, they're standing just right there. They're watching. They're quiet. Um, 
he's just aged. He started out young, and now all of a sudden now he looks like an old man. Um, he's not coming. He's deliberately not coming in clear because there's not a, what do you say? Okay, so the clear intention. If she wants her professional life to get into gear, you're going to have to get clear intention. Well, that is good advice. That really is good advice. But uh, is there anything specific? No. Is there a card? Yes. Okay. And we're waiting just for a second. Hi. Okay. <gasps> Now, what deck am I using? This is the Energy Deck by Sandra Ann Taylor. It has an upright and reverse. Now, the card came in is number 32 called The Door to Spirit. And it came in upside down. So what we're going to do, and now upside down don't mean bad. It just means it has an opposite meaning. If you're just joining us and you want to... Uh, a reading, a free reading, then just share away and my um, Lenny will take and put your name in the box and so that we can do this. Now this person again is they're staying fuzzy. They want you to become more clear with your intentions and it says when this card is reversed you may find yourself feeling an extreme disconnect. Good point. You want me to check that? Yeah, the reading's up, but I will finish this. It says, it seems your intuition is failing and you can't maintain the peaceful moments you are longing for. You may be too distracted by worldly matters or personal problems to arrive and enjoy. The deeper sense of your spiritual connection, the paradox is that the more you let go of the drama, distractions, or intense emotions, the more your spiritual peace will bring you solutions for these issues. I'm oh, sorry, all of a sudden I got a whistle. Does that mean anything? I hear a whistle. It's a constant whistle. <laughs> so relax and let go. Meditate on your soul self, your higher self, and reside in your own center. Allow that connection to grow. Now, before I go any further, um, connections are so important. So I'm going to check to see if your spirit is inside your body. And what does that mean? Well, I'm live. No, no, no. Uh, we sense, we actually our consciousness is outside and we use a signal to get inside of the body we choose and there are signal receptors to receive this when life and crap happens we'll always have a connection to it until we're ready to die but we will kind of stand outside ourselves because we're not needed wanted because you're over identifying with matter too much and emotions will dislodge this and push your spirit um, more to the side and this is where usually physical issues or really life crap will come up over and over. I'm just going to check. Is her spirit in her body 100%? Yes. Is her body communicating with the spirit 100%? No. So there's the disconnect. It is your physical body, isn't it? So you can receive in, but you're not communicating and sending out because it's like you, you're pulled back. Okay, so... Thank you for the share, and you, Lenny is right on top of it. Ah, let's see. So in this case, your physical body, what part of your physical body is not the respiratory, your breathing, so it's your lung area. Why? What is really happening? You have to be in silent brooding all the time, which then causes this energy. So connect with me again if you want. And um, uh, on my website, bpowermw.weebly.com, you can actually uh, book a, um, an appointment to have a FaceTime with me um, in our private, or you can wait until next time and do it on the air. But, uh, and do it with Expedite. So we can connect that back up. We need to create a connection. We have to first take dislodge the emotion. It's not hard to do. It's actually quite simple. There are free healing tools if you choose to want to try to do it on your own because some people just think they do it and then they miss a lot of points. Uh, if you those free tools, you can go to, oh, I do have it on the website, <laughs> bpower.mw. Okay, bpowermw.weebly.com. All right. 
yes, keep listening to this. Uh, um, you can re-listen, go back to that point and get all the clues, redefine all the words that is necessary. Because the more you do, the more you be to at that, uh, what do you want to call it? Get more into your life. But right now, it's hard to spiritually be connected to get that information to help you grow. So you're going to repeat a lot of problems. But we can we can resolve those. Resolve to evolve and heal instead of deal. So I've seen a, you know, a bunch of people come on. Wonderful. Thank you. I, I love looking at the names. I still got to be professional, though. Whew. Okay, so if you look, the website is already put up. Lenny has put it on. This is like and share and subscribe, and notice that the, the link is there. Okay, energy. Dissipate. Well, I don't know what that is, but I do see some people that are... Mm. Okay, so if you have a lot of doubts, you might be needing seeds, learning, or just to prove that, that you're right and... I'd say don't watch, uh, but if you just curious and you need to grow, then and you need to just just keep fighting against yourself until all of a sudden you see what you need to see. Now you're going to find proof that I'm wrong, and you're going to find proof that I'm right. You get to choose how you want to grow and to learn and to be. If you're content and you're happy and you're in your little um, bubble, stay there. That's where you're meant to be. And if life slaps you around. Wake up and maybe figure out why. All right. If you have any um, questions of what I'm talking about, you know, slap it up. I'll listen. Um, like I said, I only got one contact and because that's what the doc told me, and I'm doing my best to see it. Now, okay, we're in sync. Room's cleared. Next group of people. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, it's a, yeah, thanks. All right, so uh, I, I'm, I'm waiting for the next connection to come up. So Lenny, uh, if you're ready, we can just um, pick out another name. Hmm. Oh, geez, whole bus a bunch of people just came in. And if you want your want a free reading, um, then you go ahead and you uh, share this video and your name and say share it and your name will go into a box. Lenny checks every now and then to see who shared and who hasn't, and we go from there. Philomena, is it Cardone? Ooh, yay! Okay, <laughs> perfect timing. Hi, Brenda. Yes. Yes, perfect. Okay. Usually there's a delay when I say the name and I have to wait, but you're here. You don't have to worry about that. Awesome. Okay. Oh, so you're the one with a busload of people. See, Spirit already knew who was going to be picked before you. It's weird because they're showing me a bus. People are getting off, but they're walking in twos behind me. And they're standing far enough back because they know that the tape line are not really supposed to cross. But it's the formation that they're doing it in. And it's not just following my rules. There's, uh... okay, so it's unclear. I'm going to wait for the, oh, okay. So, yes, I will. Okay, mm -hmm. one at a time. Pick a, pick one group person to talk. <sighs> okay, I'm going to set the timer. You get seven minutes. They want you to, um, oh, now they're arguing about what to really share. I went, okay, okay, I'll tell them that. You just, uh, okay. What happens is that when people, when I'm communicating, uh, I get information from all of the energies around me, okay? And it is from the bandwidth that where all things are, all the information and light and all of this, and it's a very safe environment to be in, then people connect up through that, and then the spirits, other side, different levels, angels, all of these will all come through, and it is through that particular um, hourglass shape of energy. They are not deciding who wants to get to speak. The woman is speaking the loudest, is saying, I hope you can hear me because I want to be the one, the moderator or the, the, the person that talks. Um, 
but then there's this younger man but he seems older that is coming through so I'm just going to stop they can argue all they want the tune was out and I'm just gonna pull in spirit to pick up from the whole of the group and they're saying there's a lot of contempt contempt the question is is it coming from somebody that's coming through and that's how you'll know me um, or is that are you saying that she sees with contempt no you see with contempt yes oh that's interesting um, is it my sister does she swear <laughs> I'm not saying that um, okay I'm just gonna have her come over here sit did you have unfinished business as far as um, or did no sorry did she have unfinished business and you thought things were resolved there's something in particular that is coming through wrong deck uh, I don't have that deck so what they do is I go through my file system um, when I lived in the United States I had decks of all kinds Oracle decks of all kinds and she wants me to use a specific one which I don't own anymore just talk okay I promised her a reading I'm gonna give her one Philomena, if you um, understand the word contempt or understand anything I've said so far, let me know because um, the next word that's popping up is letting go. I don't know if she needs to let go or you need to let go, but there's something that's not letting go. And it keeps coming up and it has to do with the pride. Somebody's pride was hurt. <sighs> and obsession it is a constant obsession it's the constant thinking so out of the 41 thoughts per minute 39 of those could be about that particular subject now it may not be now it could have been in the past I just got a blow to the head what's that about well they're not hurting me they're trying to tell me something habits habits of what being smacked around yes it can look like hysterical at some points but you just don't get me because it goes into panic okay she's trying to tell you something I don't know like if it's not them then is she looking at something in your life no what are you trying to tell me because what Philomena said if you haven't read it, it says my sister and I didn't have any unresolved issues before she passed there's something very specific is it the argument that you guys are having no a contempt for not letting go of something are you talking about something in the past yes what age her age not yours hers so uh, something happened at five years old something happened at five years old and whatever it is she wants you to stop taking the blame because it then erupted over years to be something of what of a silent brooding and she took that with her so you have well just review what we just read and, and, and it may come to you Tell me something very specific about uh, five. A panic. Okay, so there's, they're, 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 they're pointing to an engram. And what an engram is, is like if you lost consciousness or if you, uh, it's a certain level of the brain state that when you're in it, everything becomes the same. For instance, mom and dad are in the kitchen mom's on the ladder they, they, there's kids running around 
dad screaming at the kids, mom's trying to put something on the shelf, she falls, she hits her head, she goes unconscious, and then they say, oh my God, is she all right? Is she dead? Is she dying? You know, and, and, and oh, and you will hear bits and pieces at that stage. As you do, you start to connect them, think they're all the same, but the smells, the sound, everything will start meaning the same. That doesn't mean you have been unconscious. Now, again, they hit, hit, hit me in the head. I don't know what that's about. It could have been that particular time. And so because of that, it is a very specific thing. Um, the main thing is that she wants you to stop taking the blame. See, the engram is huge because if you do have an engram, then you'll have triggers everywhere without knowing it. She says, I was always clumsy as a child. Well, apparently there was one particular incident. She's not giving me detail. I would love detail, but I'm not getting it. Oh, shoot, time's up. But take that with you. If you want to know more, then, you know, go to my website, contact me, make an appointment, do whatever. Um, or you can expedite it and we can go live again. Uh, so... Just look at the clues of what I said, write them down, because she's, she, she's very determined that something needs to be addressed and to heal. Is there anything specific in the physical? No. I, that's what she says. I love you! Okay, so she knows the time's up, so she's always with you anyway. Um, but she says there's some kind of cards or something. April, you had your turn. Um, and we thank you for such a deep insight, if you think about it. Okay. Toast. I smell toast. Is that still you? Toast. Something got burnt. No, I just smell fresh toast. Okay. Anyways. Pay attention to little things, which I'm sure you always do anyway. Yeah. She, 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 she says, um, she puts her hand on my shoulder. Yep. That's it. That's me, sis. That's it. But it's a very strong connection that you can actually feel little clues everywhere. She does want you to heal that, though. I thought we just repeated this. Yes, okay, lots of kisses. <sighs> okay, next. As the room gets to clear, um, you must have had a really ba big knot, uh, knot, a bulbous a knot. Because um, when they whacked me, they showed me it wasn't just a whack it was something that that came out of it 